Okay, here we are in the one to six. And the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna install a blend mount radar detector holder for the radar detector. If you so choose to have one, you know, for safety, uh, you might wanna get one of those. So, because um, what we're basically trying to do away with is um, this. Okay, so what we're trying to do away with is this, you know, suction cup business on the windshield. And what we're going to do uh, is we're going to take this casing off of the rear view mirror that hides all the wiring, and we're going to add in a cable, the, the power for the radar detector, and then we're going to install the bracket, which comes from blend mount underneath here, and it's going to be nice and tidy and affixed. It'll be fixed in there. And you won't have any more suction cups because who can live with suction cups? I know I can. Six, and we're going to attempt to install this radar detector hardwire kit into the rearview mirror. We're going to basically we're going to piggyback on the power here, and then we're going to mount the radar detector into a bracket that I buy from blend mount and you can go to blendmount.com and find all the brackets that they supply for the various cars and with any success it'll be done in about 20 minutes and the first step is to get the casing apart now new car hasn't probably been taken apart other than when it was put together new so it might be a little tough now it just snaps together so it should unsnap i may get a little trim tool so i'll be back with you in just a second all right after a little bit of finagling i was able to get the cover off uh it just uh, snaps together uh you can see all the little snaps so uh in the previous uh, applications I've done this in, I've, I've piggybacked on that purple plug up there. Not the big one here, but the purple one. So that's the one I'm gonna try to get these in. Now sometimes if you're, if you're patient and if you're careful and delicate, you can do this without pulling the plug out. You don't want to break off these little ends because uh, then you're screwed and you have to get new ones. So be very careful. And if you have to pull the plug out, pull the plug out to do it. But I think I can do it with the plug in. So I'm going to try to work it into that purple plug. And so there's a, there's a hot red and then there's a, a black ground. And the red, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a red. This is the red over here on this end. And then the other side will, will be the, the, the um, is where I will go in with the ground. And then you also have to test it and play around with it and see if it comes on. And that's how I do it. So I'm going to work to get that in. And then I'll come back with you and um, show you what I do next. Okay, what I've done to make this easier. The first thing I did is I pull. You don't have to actually unplug this plug. It'll just slide up. And that way you can maneuver it, get it out of the way. I did take some needle nose pliers and I pulled that out. So now we're going to work with this plug and we're going to put these ends into that plug. And it'll be easier once we have it out here like this. Okay, so I've got my little piggyback jumpers in there. I did, it, they actually slide in pretty easily if you have this unplugged like this. So then the next thing of course we want to do before we put all this back together and get everything um, nice and pretty, we're going to plug our radar detector in to test it. Okay. And we're getting power. So the engine isn't on. And um, now when you turn this off, you know, when you turn your ignition off, it will stay on. Um, 
but all the power will go down eventually. So um, at least it has for me every time in the past. So we'll assume that that's going to happen, but we at least have power. So we'll plug all this back in. We'll retest it again before we put the cover on. Once we get this plugged back in, put that back in, they uh, provide you, if you get one of these kits, they provide you with a little twist tie, a little zip tie, sorry, and we'll, we'll zip tie this cable to one of these so that if this ever gets pulled here, you know, if this gets pulled, uh, it won't, it won't pull the little plugs out. So that's what we're going to try to prevent. So that'll be the next couple of steps to do now. Okay, so when it's all said and done, it's going to look something like this in terms of the wiring. I put my my zip tie right here on these other cables to kind of keep that, you know, so if this gets tugged on, that's going to get tugged first instead of the plugs because they're very sensitive. And I've, uh, you know, you've, you have room here to fiddle with those if for some reason they should come out but um best thing to do of course is get them in there good the first time so you don't have to do this more than once so that's that now we'll put the cover on and then this the way i usually do this is i have i unplug it and then i'll have the i'll have the cable come out over here somewhere you know in the uh, up in the casing some people run it up underneath the headliner and bring it into here. Uh, I just bring it in because most of the time I got it plugged in anyway. Okay, next we're going to install this, the blend mount uh, bracket for the radar detector. Now, you know, this came out of a different car, so it's a bit of an experiment because the other car, 2019, did not have the universal garage door and all the other stuff in here so it's a this one's a little tighter but essentially this bracket is just going to clamp down on that and then we're going to tighten it up with the allen key that they provide now the allen key they provide is kind of an odd size i it's best to keep this handy so you can tighten it uh, sometimes over time these things loosen so keep that with you maybe in your glove compartment and the owner's manual or something so that you have that with you if you ever need to tighten it. Um, so that's what we're going to put, put on next. And then we'll um, get the radar detector mounted and plug it in. And keep our fingers crossed that she works. Okay, bracket is installed. It is tight. Uh, there's a lot of adjustments on this. It'll, it'll go down. This will go up. It'll go this way. So it'll, it'll you know pretty much adjust every which way you want. This is set up again. It came out of my other car, so it's pretty much ready to go. And you just need that Allen, that Allen uh, key to do that. And so now we'll just, um, we'll get the radar detector in there. And then we'll plug it in. Ready? Moment of truth. There it goes. And I'll tighten this up just a little bit more, but she works. Congratulations. Thanks for watching.